In this tutorial, uh, we'll be looking into the new paint tools uh, that were introduced in build 3010 um, to the texture area. Uh, th these tools are intended to make uh, small corrections on the generated uh, images, on the generated tiling images, and um, they can be very useful. Um, paint tools were already available for the 3D maps area. Uh, for instance, in uh, Diffuse, you can see that we already have more or less the same paint tools. However, they are also very useful here in the texture area to fix or to heal uh, small generation problems. Okay, so let's start by uh, picking a, an image and making it uh, tileable. Um, so this is a brick wall. Let's open the Seed Wizard. This is a, a brick wall and we want to make this um, a tiling texture of this uh, part, of the central part with the bricks. And uh, so let's get rid of what we don't want and straighten the image in the process. And you can see that on the right side, on the straightened view, um, the elements are becoming more aligned to the horizontal and vertical lines there. Okay, it seems to be more or less aligned, perhaps it can take care of the vertical lines by moving this a little bit to the middle. Okay. Okay, seems reasonable. So step two, um, we we should help Pix plant. It seems it didn't find a pattern, so this is more or less a pattern. Of course, certain uh, images, uh, not all images, have a regular pattern that we can precisely define here, but a uh, reasonable um, pattern selection will will help Pix plant. Okay, so let's more or less use. Let's use this one, it seems to be reasonably well, and I'll click finish. Okay, let's now generate. Okay, 1024, 1024. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have problems here because the elements not being very regular, as we saw in the seed wizard, we have problems such as this one. Uh, of course, we could just generate again and let's let's try it but we'll always have uh, imperfections here for instance here and here so let's use the paint tools to fix this quickly um, the most useful tool here is the clone tool the clone tool is similar to um, the, the tool of the same name on uh, popular graphics editors and it's uh, it's great to to fix small problems and um, also, since version 3.0.10, um, the, the clone tool displays a preview over the cursor of what will, what will be um, used if you paint over there. Um, there's also uh, the indication of this crosshair, which um, signals the source, shows the source or from where the, the image uh, will, will be copied. So, let's find a part of the image which is reasonable. For instance, this one. It's usually a good idea to find, um, to, to use as sources parts that can be quickly identified and matched from, from the preview. For instance, you can see by this one that we can then come here and simply paint over. And there it is. It solved the, it solved the problem, the misalignment, the imperfection. And uh, okay, we have another problem here. And uh, so let's uh, select a uh, suitable cloning source, for instance here, and we just choose the best place and paint it over, and there we have it. Okay, if we now um, change to the full screen view to see how it tiles, you can see that it's uh, quite reasonable. Uh, we could get rid Oh, there's an imperfection here. Let's let's solve it. Oh, okay, it's this one. We didn't see it, and we simply apply more or less the same process here. And okay, and there we have it. Full screen now. You can see that it's uh, reasonable. 
Okay, so let's now uh, see another example. Um, okay, this, uh, this other uh, seed image. Let's open the seed wizard to straighten it up. Okay, this can be better aligned. Okay, and in the bottom, perhaps a little bit more like this. Vertical line seems to be okay. Okay, so let's apply next. Pixplant identified this as the pattern here, and it's okay. Of course, it can be anywhere because the pattern repeats, but okay, let's leave it here and let's now generate. Okay, so it's quite reasonable, but we have a problem. You can see this, the, you, you can see that, that uh, the tiles with um, and these two black dots uh, will, will create a problem because if we tile them, uh, one can always uh, spot that something is repeating and this is a problem for large uh, surfaces where you want this texture to tile. So uh, we can use the clone tool again to, to get rid of it. So let's choose a suitable cloning. Uh, we also have an imperfection here, we'll take care of it later. Okay, so let's clone from here. Okay. And there it goes. And perhaps a bit more. Okay. And also here. Let's clone now from another location. Okay, so. And it's solved. Um, we also have a problem here, an imperfection. So let's get rid and oh, I'm seeing a few more. These are really uh, tough uh, images to, to make tileable because um, there's not much variety and not much, not much contrast. And uh, But anyway, with a clone tool, you can see that it's fairly easy to, to just solve these problems. Switching now to the full screen view, you can see that it's now more um, the, the problem with the black dots is now solved. We could also take care of this, these white lines which more or less give it away. We could simply just come here and clone from there to here. And also this one. And, and this one, of course. Okay. Okay, so it's not better. Um, so the, the clone tool is, is extremely useful to, to take care of this, uh, of this minor imperfection of these problems. Um, and that's it. Uh, you can download uh, build 3.0.10 or a newer one from uh, pixplan.com. And uh, thanks for watching.